the spirit of truth, you are everywhere present, and you fill all things, treasure your blessings, and giver of life. Come and dwell in us and cleanse us and save our souls, O gracious one. Amen. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. I am Soteos, I am Sisiros, I am Sathanatos, I am Sonimas. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious to us in our sins. Master, forgive our transgressions. Holy One, consider our weaknesses and heal them for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We owe to the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance, granting victory to the faithful over adversaries, and protecting your commonwealth by your cross. Doxa patrike yoke nemati. Lifted up on the cross by your free will, Christ God, grant mercies to the new commonwealth that bears your name. Gladden our faith rules by your power, giving them victory over their adversaries. May your alliance be for them a weapon for peace, an invincible standard, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Awesome and unfailing protection, do not spurn our supplications. Gracious and all praise, they talk us. Uphold the Orthodox commonwealth, Preserve those you have called to govern, and grant them victory from on high. For you, the only blessed one, gave birth to God. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Amen. Amen. Pray for all the divine and orthodox Christians. Kini eleison, kini eleison, kini eleison. Again, we pray for us, we should be to ask and all the brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. You are merciful, loving God, and to you offer up glory to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. Glory to the holy consubstantial life given down by the Trinity, always, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. O Lord, why do so many taunt me, many of those who rise up against me, many who say to me, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts up my head. I cried out to the Lord in a loud voice, and from his holy mountain he heard me. As for me, I lay down and slept, then I awoke, for the Lord will be my help. I will not fear ten thousand people arrayed against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, my God. For you have stricken all who hated me without cause. You have shattered the sinner's teeth. <clears throat> this deliverance is the Lord's. Upon your people be your blessing. As for me, I lay down and slept. Then I woke, for the Lord will be my help. O Lord, in your anger rebuke me not, chastise me not in your wrath. Your arrows have bored into me, and your hand weighs heavily upon me. Because of your wrath, there is no soundness in my flesh. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities have overwhelmed me. They have weighed upon me like a heavy load. My sores have become stench and festering because of my folly. A stooping and exhausted wreck, I stumbled mourning all the day. My loins are burning with fever, for my life is a total mockery, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I was crushed and deeply afflicted. I roared with the groaning of my heart. O oh Lord, all my longing is known to you, and my groaning is no secret to you. My heart races, my strength has left me, and even the light of my eyes has failed me. My friends and companions approached and stood by while my closest kinsmen kept their distance. And those who sought my life were egged on, while those who wished me ill spoke lies, plotting deception all the day. But I remained as a deaf man and heard them not, as a dumb man and opened not my mouth, as a man who has not heard a thing and thus has no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord, my God. I said, O oh, that my foes cease to gloat over me, who bluster mightily when my feet stumbled. As for me, I am ready to be scourged, and my pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my guilt, and I will live in anguish because of my sin. But my enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me without cause are multiplied. 
those who rendering evil for good opposed me when I sought but justice. O Lord God, forsake me not, stay not afar from me, hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O Lord God, forsake me not, stay not afar from me, hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, at dawn I rise to you, my soul is thirsted for you, and oh how my flesh has hungered for you. Like a desolate and trackless land that has no water, so did I come before you in your holy place to see the power and the glory that are yours. Since your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live and lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled as with choice despair, and joyful lips will praise your name. As I lay on my couch, I remembered you. I meditated on you throughout the early watches, that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find delight. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. But as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth and be given over to the sword, the prey of jackals they shall be. But the king shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall glory, for the mouth of liars is stopped. I meditated you on too. I had meditated on you throughout the early watches that you became for me the helping one, that in the shelter of your wings I will find you life. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, <coughs> now and always, and forever, and ever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you, lend your ear to my plea, O Lord. For my soul was filled with trouble, and my life came close to Hades. I was reckoned with those who go down to the pit. I was like a man beyond help, left for dead. Like the slain left to lie in the grave, those you remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. You have cast me down to the deepest abyss, into darkness, and the shadow of death. Your anger was a burden upon me. You poured your billows over me. You took my friends away from me. You made me loathsome to them. I was closed in and could not escape. My eyes grew dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day. I stretched out my hands to you. But will you work wonders for the dead? And can the physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone sing your love in grave or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Are your marvels ever known in darkness or your justice in the land of oblivion? And yet, O Lord, I cried out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth. I was raised high, then humbled in distress. Your plagues have swept over me, and your terrors have left me shaken. They surround me like waters all the day. They close in upon me from all sides. You have distanced from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintance is so wretched am I. O Lord, God of my salvation, day and night I cried out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you. Lend your ear to my request, O Lord. Bless the Lord of my soul, may all that is in me bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul, and forget not all the gifts from him, who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who ransomed your life from, from corruption and crowns you with his love and mercies, who fills your longing with what is good, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He has made known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel's children. The Lord is the one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold love. His contention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He has not dealt with us as our sins demand, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far has the Lord extended his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As kind as the Father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we were formed. Remembers, we are only made of dust, a man. His days resemble grass as a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone, and never shall he know his place again. But the love of the Lord is from all eternity, and to all eternity for those who fear him. And his justice is upon the children of children. For those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them, the Lord has established his throne in heaven. Over all things, his kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you strong and mighty ones who obey his word on hearing the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, all you his powers, his attendants who obey his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord of my soul. Bless the Lord of my soul in every place of his dominion. O Lord, hear my prayer, and your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and your righteousness answer me. And enter not into judgment with your servant, since of all the living none is just in your sight. The enemy has hunted me down, he has crushed my life into the ground. 
He has forced me to live in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints with grief, and within me my heart is in despair. I recalled the days of old. I meditated on all your deeds. I pondered the works of your hands. I stretched out my hand to you like a parched land my soul thirsts for you. Make haste to answer me, O Lord, my spirit has failed me. Turn not your face away from me, lest I be like those in the pit. Grant that I may hear your steadfast love at dawn, for I have placed my hope in you. O Lord, teach me the way I should go, for I have lifted up my soul to you. O Lord, deliver me from my enemies, it is to you that I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. For the sake of your name, O Lord, you will keep me alive. In your righteousness, you will deliver me from affliction. And in your loving kindness, you will destroy my enemies. And bring to naught all those who oppress me, for I am your servant. O Lord, hear my prayer, and your truthfulness give heed to my plea, and in your righteousness answer me. May your good spirit lead me on a straight path. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to your God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to your God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O Lord. Glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. With the peace above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Our peace in the whole world, stability of God's holy churches, our unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. All this holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Archbishop, you ask, most honorable priests and deacons of the service of Christ and for all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. Our country, the president, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. All this city and parish, for every city and land of the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For temperate weather, the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the uprooting of hatred, hostility, bringing among them genuine love, understanding, peaceful coexistence, and into war, disturbance, and human suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, glorious, lady, the Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. All glory, honor, and worship are due to you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes. In the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord and he reveals himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord, I defended myself against them. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This came about that the Lord, and it is wonderful in his eyes. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Life to all the world. Therefore, 
ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. The soldiers keeping watch at your tomb, O my Savior, became by the power of the cross. 
Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. In memory in our most holy, pure, blessed, glorious Lord, Lady, the Father, of us, and ever Virgin Mary, us. with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Blessed is your name and glorified is your kingdom of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. The repentance of the robber plundered paradise, while the lament of the myrrh bearing women revealed the joy. For you had risen, O Christ our God, bestowing on the world the great mercy. Bestowing on the world great mercy. Outside of the futile world as they are. Glory to the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. Both oh, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. To the Holy Spirit, for hope, honor, and glory be he long. As to the Father and the Son, let us therefore sing in praise to the Trinity and walk in dominion. Having lifted me up to the mountains of your laws, brighten me with virtues, O God, that I may praise you. With your right hand embracing me, O Logos, be my keeper, shelter me, so that the fire of sin not burn me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. to me, let us journey to the courts of the Lord. My spirit has been cheered and my heart rejoices also. On the house of David is a great peer, for there when thrones have been placed, all the tribes and tongues of the earth will be judged. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. To the Holy Spirit, honor, worship, glory, and dominion. As befit the Father and the Son, must also be offered. For the Trinity is a monad, in nature but not in persons. Now I will arise, says the Lord, I will establish sense and salvation, I will declare it boldly. Now I will arise, says the Lord, I will establish them in salvation, I will declare it boldly. The words of the Lord are pure words. Now I will arise, says the Lord, I will establish them in salvation, I will declare it boldly. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, glorious Lady, the Self, all of us, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are the King of peace and the Savior of our souls, and to you we give glory to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> you rose from the sepulchre in glory, in glory as God, and with yourself resurrected the world, and mortal nature extolled you as God, and death was obliterated, and Adam is dancing, O Master, and Eve, now redeemed from the bonds, rejoices, crying out, O Christ, you are he who grants resurrection to all. 
O Christ, you are he who grants resurrection to all. Let us extol, extol all omnipotent, omnipotent God, the one who rose on the third day and who smashed the gates of Hades and who raised from the tomb those who were there from all time and who was seen by the myrrh-bearing women as he, said, as he so willed, uttering to them first of all the greeting, rejoice, and to the apostles declaring the joy as the only giver of life. Therefore, in faith, the women announced the, to the disciples the tokens of victory and Hades groans and death laments and the world exalts, and all people rejoice together. For you, O Christ, are he who grants resurrection to all. For you, O Christ, are he who grants resurrection to all. You were once completely full of fornication of all kinds, but today you show yourself as a bride of Christ to repentance. Longingly, you imitated the angel's lifestyle. With the cross being your weapon, you trampled demons. Therefore, glorious Saint Mary, you have appeared as a bride of heaven's realm. You have appeared as a bride of heaven's realm. You, Christ and daughter, now in song we praise you, O Mary most renowned, accounted to the Egyptians nursing, nursling, but yet fleeing all their terror, you were altogether offered as a seedling precious to the church. With self-control and supplication, you practiced asceticism beyond the measure of human nature. Therefore you were exalted in Christ through ways of life and practice. Glorious Saint Mary, you have appeared as a bride of heaven's realm. You have appeared as a bride of heaven's realm. On April 2nd, we commemorate our devout father, Titu. On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyrs and brothers of Fianu and Ayyvesil. On this day, we also commemorate the holy virgin martyr Theodora. On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyr Polycarpu. On this day, the, 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 the devout Grigorios, who struggled in asceticism in the Gulf of Nicomedia, reposed in peace in the year 1240. On this day, the fifth Sunday of Lent, we have been enjoined to observe the memory of our devout father, Mother Marias of Egypt. Her spirit is gone, the flesh long discarded. O earth, now hide the dead bones of Marias. By your intercession, O God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. I shall open my mouth to chant, and with the spirit shall I be filled. And word shall line up, pour forth unto the mother and queen. And I shall be seen in joyous jubilation, acclaiming exaltedly all of her wondrous deeds. Make steadfast, O holy Theotokos, thou living and never failing spring, all them that form a company and gather for to praise thy name. And by thy grace divine, O may Demons all worthy of glory's crown. Seated in his holy glory on the throne of divinity, Jesus God transcendent cometh on a light cloud as King of all, and he has saved by his pure and undefiled hand. Then that cry to him, Glory of Christ to thy sovereign might. All creatures were so amazed at thy divine and great glory made. O pure virgin who has not known wedlock, for thou didst hold in thy womb my God of all, and gave us bread to the timeless Son, who doth grant salvation unto all men that acclaim thy name. On this divine and most honored feast of God's all-holy Mother, let all of godly mind now celebrate. Come, let us faithful now clap our hands and send up glory unto the God whom she hath borne. No created thing, but only the Creator would minded use, adore and worship as God, but manfully trampling down threats
so far they cried out, O supremely praised, and all acclaimed one less than one, O the Lord God of our fathers. We praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord. Three guiltless youths cast in the furnace were saved by the offspring which the Theotokos bear. Then in figure and in type, now in very truth and deed. And he hath gathered all the world which crieth out in chant. Ye works of his, O oh, sing the Lord's praises, and exalt him greatly for ages and all ages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For your holy God, rest among the saints, and to you we give glory to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of each us. Amen. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Pas noi and esaton don kirion. Praise the Lord. Everything that breathes. Let us pray to the Lord our God that we may be made worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Reading the Holy Gospel according to St. John, let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being shut where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood with them and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. And Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you retain the sins of any, they are retained. Now Thomas, one of the twelve, called the twin, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, Told, them, told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the print of the nails, and place my finger in the mark of the nails, and place my hand in his side, I will not believe. Eight days later, his disciples were again in the house, and Thomas was with them. The doors were shut, but Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and put your hand and place it in my side, and do not be faithless, but believing. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. And Jesus said to him, Thomas, you have believed because you have seen me. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. <clears throat> now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written, that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are a God. Apart from you, we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. <clears throat> Have mercy on me, O God, in the greatness of your love, in the abundance of your tender mercies, wipe out my offense. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I am well aware of my iniquity, and my sin is before me always. It is you alone I have offended, I have done what is evil in your sight. 
Wherefore you are justified in your charges and triumphant in your judgment. Behold, I was born in iniquities and in sins my mother conceived me. But you are the lover of truth. You have shown the hidden depths of your wisdom. Sprinkle on me with this up and I shall be pure. Cleanse me and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear sounds of joy and feasting the bones that were uplifted shall rejoice. Turn your face away from my offenses and wipe off all my sins. A spotless heart created me, O God, renew a steadfast spirit in my breast. Cast me not away from your face, take not your blessed spirit out of me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and let your guiding spirit dwell in me. I will teach your ways to the sinner and the wicked shall return to you. Deliver me from blood guilt, O God, my saving God, and my tongue will joyfully sing your justice. O Lord, you will open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Had you desired sacrifice, I would have offered it, but you will not be satisfied with whole burnt offerings. Sacrifice to God is a contrite spirit, a crushed and humbled heart God will not spurn. In your kindness, O Lord, be bountiful to Zion, may the walls of Jerusalem be restored. <coughs> then will you delight in proper oblation, in sacrifice and whole burnt offerings, then shall they offer calves upon your altar and have mercy on me, O oh, oh God. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, through the prayers, O merciful, of the apostles. Wash away the multitude of my offenses. Open to me the gates of repentance, O giver of life. For early in the morning my spirit hastens to your holy temple, bringing the temple of my body all defiled. But as one compassionate cleanse me, I pray by your loving kindness and mercy. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. Guide me in the paths of salvation, O Theotokos, for I have befouled my soul with shameful sins, and I heedlessly squandered all of my life's resources. By your intercession, deliver me from every uncleanliness. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy and according to the abundance of your compassion. Brought out my transgression when I ponder in my wretchedness on the many terrible things that I have done. I God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise you with us, Christians, in glory. Send down upon us your great mercy through the intercession of the most holy, pure lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, the power of the precious life of your cross, the protection of the honorable by the powers of heaven, the supplications of the glorious prophet for John the Baptist, the glorious praiseworthy of the apostles, the fathers among the saints, and great hierarchs, ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, John Chrysostomus, Athanasius, and Kyrios, John the Merciful, Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop Mira, Spirits, Bishop Trimotheus, Nectarius, Pandopolis, and Winter Workers, the Holy and Glorious, Great Martyrs, George, the Victorious, Demetrius, Maria of Liti, Theater of the Tira, and Theater of Commander, Minas, and Winter Workers, Higher Martyrs, Haralampos, Eleftherios, the Holy and Glorious, Victorious Martyrs, the Glorious, Great Martyr, and All Laudable, Ephemia, the Glorious Martyrs, Thakla, Varvana, Nasasia, Katerini, Gariki, Fotini, Marina, Baraskevini, Irini, of our Holy God bearing Fathers, of <clears throat> the Righteous Ancient God, Joe Kimanana, and of our beloved mother, Mary of Egypt, whose memory is celebrated today and of all your saints. We beseech you, most merciful Lord, hear us, <coughs> hear us sinners who pray to you, hear us and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For the mercy and compassion and love of humankind, with your only, of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together, 
For the all holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Honoring her with him, let us magnify the Theotokos, the mother of light. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. He without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and our truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant, for behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. He without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and I truly thank you who do we magnify. Because he was mighty, has done me great things, and holy is his name, and his mercy is from generation to generation to those who fear him. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He has put down the mighty from their thrones, and has exalted the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and his seed forever. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly Theotokos, you do we magnify. Let every earthborn man upleap in the spirit and now hold his torch on high. And let all the bodyless know it because now celebrate joyously. The Theotokos is sublime and sacred festival as they cry. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, in your grace. Lord have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, holy blessing, holy glorious Lady, the Thou took us and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O oh Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise you and offer up glory to you, to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and in the ages of ages. Amen.
the doors where the apostles were being closed shut oh master you entered and you gave them peace and when you blew upon them you gave them the holy spirit and enjoined them concerning finding a sin and loosing them and coming eight days later, you showed your sight, and your hands as tangible proved to Thomas. With him we also cry aloud, you are our Lord and our God.
symbols, praise him with triumphant symbols, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Your prolonged polluted state with all your prior defilements, <coughs> like a wall prevented you from beholding the august holy sights of Christ. Then your mind went to God when a prick of conscience an awareness of what you had done had their effect on you to a high, to higher lifestyle converting you. For gazing at the icon of effort, blessed Mary, the maid of God, you condemn your every transgression in the past, all lauded one. And then with confidence you adore the all-precious cross of Christ. I waited patient for the leave for the Lord, and he heeded me, and he heard my supplication. After you had worshipped in the holy lands with rejoicing, therein also you received the sal salvific means for your road to excellence. And you ran earnestly the fine way of virtue, having crossed the Jordan River stream, unhesitatingly you began your residence in the place where John the Baptist lived before, and by your ascetical way of life you subdued the passions ferociousness with confidence so saint and carnal throbbings you minimize mother ever memorable he established my feet on a rock and he kept straight my steps dwelling in the wilderness you blotted out every <coughs> image of the passions of your soul having in their place instead Printed out on your soul, the sublime, godlike form of the holy virtues, and you shone forth to such an extent that you were able to fly across the waters, O oh blessed one, and levitate above the ground when you raise your hand up to God in prayer. Now, O oh blessed Mother, all glorious Saint Mary, as you stand before the Master with confidence, importantly pray for us.
For through him who became incarnate of you, Hades was made captive, Adam was recalled. The curse has died, he was set free, Death was put to death, and we have been given life. Wherefore we cry out in praise, Blessed is Christ our God, who has been so pleased. Oh. 
Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, stability of God's holy churches, and for unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Archbishop, be us, most honorable priests and deacons of the service of Christ, and for all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. country, the president, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. For this parish and city, for every city and land of the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, favorable weather, the abundance of the fruits of the earth in peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, travelers by land, seen air with the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. of hatred, hostility, bringing among them genuine love, understanding, peaceful coexistence, and end to war, disturbance, and human suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. Most holy, pure, blessing, glorious Most Lady, the faithful, most and ever Virgin Mary, 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 with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Glory to God, whose power is beyond compare, your glory beyond understanding, your mercy is boundless, and love for us ineffable. Look upon us and upon this holy house and your compassion, and grant to us and those who pray with us your great and abundant mercy. For to you belongs all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of each us. Amen. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Through the intercessions of the pale tokos, Savior, Soul, and forget all that he has done for you. Tespes vi estis teo doku, so terso sonimas. The Lord in heaven has prepared his throne, and his kingdom rules over all. Through the intercessions of the Theo Tokos, Savior, Theo, <laughs> Together, Lord, Lord our God, our God save, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them who return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. Yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. I will chant unto my God for as long as I have my being. Save us, O Son of God, who rose from the dead. Save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Blessed is he of whom the God of Jacob is his help, whose help 
Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The Resurrectional Politicon is on page 99. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Although your tomb was sealed with a stone, O Savior, and your most pure body was guarded by the soldiers. You rose on the third day, giving life to all the world. Therefore, O giver of life, the powers of heaven praise you. Glory to your resurrection. Glory. 
You have brought all things out of nothing into being. You have created man and woman in your image and likeness and adorned them with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to the supplicant, and you do not overlook the sinner, but establish repentance as the way of salvation. You enable us, your lowly and worthy servants, to stand at this hour before the glory of your holy altar and to offer you due worship and praise. Master, accept the thrice holy hymn also from the lips of the sinners, and visit us in your goodness. Forgive our voluntary and involuntary transgressions sanctify our souls and bodies and grant that we may worship and serve you in holiness all the days of our lives by the intercessions of the Holy Theotokos and of all the saints who please you throughout the ages. For you are holy our God and to you we give glory to the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit now and ever into the ages of ages.
us be attentive. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we hope in you. Rejoice greatly in the Lord, O righteous ones. Praise is fitting for the upright. Wisdom. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, when Christ appeared as a high priest of the good things that have come, and through the greater and more perfect tent, not made with his hands, that is, not of this creation, he entered once and for all into the holy place, taking not the blood of goats and calves, but his own blood, thus securing an eternal redemption. For if the sprinkling of defiled persons with the blood of goats and bulls, and with the ashes of the heifer sanctifies for the purification of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify your conscience from death. Works to serve the living God. Peace be with you, reader. With your spirit. loving master the pure light of your divine knowledge and open the eyes of our minds that we may comprehend the message of your gospel instill in us also reverence for blessed commandments so that having conquered sinful desires we may pursue a spiritual life thinking and doing all the things that are pleasing to you for you Christ our God of the light of our souls and bodies and to you we give glory together with your fathers without beginning and you're all holy good in life giving spirit now and ever into the ages of ages Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel, peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory. At that time, Jesus took his twelve disciples and began to tell them what was to happen to him, saying, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death and deliver him to the Gentiles, and they will mock him and scourge him and spit on him and kill him, and after three days he will rise again. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came forward to him and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do forever for us whatever we ask of you. And Jesus said to them, What do you want me to do for you? And they said to him, Grant us to sit, one at your right and the other on your left, in your glory. But Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink, or to be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? And they said to him, We are able. And Jesus said to them, The cup that I drink you will drink, and the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or the left is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it was prepared. And when the ten heard it, they began to be indignant at James and John. And Jesus called to, that, to him and said to them, You know that those who are supposed to rule over the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great men exercise authority over them. But it shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant. And whoever would be first among you must be servant of all. 
For the Son of Man also came. He came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as ransom for many. Thank you all for all your love and your, your wishes for my beloved father-in-law who passed away. We buried him on, on Thursday. <coughs> May his memory be eternal. Uh, today, Jesus talks about being servants. And being a servant means offering your body to be guided by the Holy Spirit. And today I want to talk about two women, two Marys. Uh, the one sitting here on your left, my right, the Virgin Mary, and the other Mary, St. Mary of Egypt, whose memory we remember today, uh, a woman who was a prostitute, a woman who left her home at age 12, a woman who was probably really, really, really lost as a kid and was following a path that was destroying, literally destroying her. But I want to talk about the first Mary today. And I shared this last week. I'll share it again. This is the words from St. Philaret. In the days of creation of the world, when God was uttering his living and mighty, let there be, the word of the creator bright, brought creatures into the world. But on that day, that unprecedented day in the history of the world, when Mary turned her brief and obedient, so be it, I hardly da dare to say what happened. Then the word of the creature brought the creator, listen, brought the creator into the world. Mind-boggling. That her, so be it, according to your will, Lord, brought God into the world. It's hard to wrap your mind around that. We honor the Virgin Mary. We honor her humility, her faith, her trust in God. She uttered those words, so be it. And in her humility, she discovers her true nature found in being united with Jesus. And when we are united with Jesus, we become normal. We become alive. We become natural and authentic. We become real. We become ourselves when we deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow Jesus. We all want to be authentic. We all want to be connected. And the church is saying today in such a powerful way, the Virgin Mary, in her saying yes, opened the doors for us, for our true identity, because we've been disconnected for so many years because of Adam's fall and his own deciding to be God without God. So the Virgin Mary, her saying, so be it, she opened her, her whole being to receive God. She was the first Christophora, the first bearer of, of Christ. In her belly, St. John Damascus said, in her belly came and dwelt he who is uncontainable. And by her breast was nourished God who sustains the whole creation. On her hand she carried God who is carried by the seraphim. And her knees became his throne. Our Orthodox Church never forgets important people and events that shaped and formed us. The church doesn't forget but makes it a priority for her faithful to remember and honor this, the sacred in life. We honor, listen, we honor because we love God. We honor because we love Christ, His mother, the saints, the martyrs, the men and women who paved the path for us. We are family. And that's what families do. I was talking to some people, when people die, they just escort the, the, the body out. You never see the body again. Never see the body again. And our church honors the body because that's the house that housed the sacred temple. It was a, a temple that housed the sacred spirit of the, of the human being. And some, many, some people can't see a dead body. But to, to know that the person that doesn't have life, the body, is sacred in a way that it housed the Holy Spirit within us. What a powerful thing that is. St. John Maximovich says, from apostolic times into our days, all who truly love Christ give veneration to her, the one who gave birth to him, 
raised him, protected him in the days of his youth. If God the Father chose her, God the Holy Spirit descended upon her, God the Son dwelt in her, submitted to her in the, the, the days of his youth, was concerned for her when hanging on the cross, then should not everyone who confesses the Holy Trinity venerate her? See, Mary became the vessel that unites the world with Jesus, and the church honors that and honors what happens in our life when we stay attuned and united with Jesus Christ. But we also re remember St. Mary of Egypt. St. Mary the Theotoko said, so be it. At age 12, she must have been abused. Who would leave home at 12 years old? I'll see you later. And not only just leave home, she'd be a prostitute. She gave up her body. And you imagine what kind of people were attracted to her. Nice people, caring people, loving people, healthy people. So she was constantly being disconnected and discombobulated. So when I see uh, the Virgin Mary say, so be it, I think Mary during that time says, I can't stand it. I can't stand to be around this family or something was going on here because whatever trauma she had, she had to leave. She thought that she was going to find uh, herself leaving. What happens when we have this kind of trauma? You all have it at some, some level. We all have this kind of trauma where we, we disconnect someplace from some place of our experience that we've been hurt. And then when we get traumatized and hurt, we don't talk about it, we don't have help, and then we create a fantasy in our mind, and that fantasy defines who we are, and then it dictates how we're gonna live our life, and then when something happens, and you, you, you've heard this, I got triggered, I got triggered, and I screamed in the, in the car, and it started raging and trying to chase the guy down who cut me off. I got triggered when my wife said this, and I said that, I did that, right? I got triggered, right? Well, let, let me tell you, when we get triggered on a gun, you know the trigger, how, you know how big the trigger is? It's a little thing. The thing we have to realize is what kind of powder is in our system that blows up when the trigger happens. So what happens is when we get hurt in life, we get stuck by the triggers in life and the explosive is our reaction to the trauma. Now listen. Many of us have traumatic events, but the trauma is what lingers on through the rest of our life. I remember I was working with a guy, he, he, he came, came from an alcoholic family, and he was just constantly hurt, constantly betrayed, constantly disappointed. His dad said, I'll take you fishing. I'll, I'll take you fishing on a Saturday, and Saturday the dad was sleeping in bed. I'll take you camping, honey, uh, we'll go camping. He doesn't go camping, constantly disappointed. At 17 years old, this sweet guy, who I, who I saw when he was 50, he was a multimillionaire, just really hurt in life, alone in life, literally alone in life. And the only people, the only thing that really brought him comfort were these, these dogs that he loved. Thank God for the dogs. So what happened at 17 years old, he was uh, ready for, to go on the, the prom. He asked this girl, and he was really excited, really liked this girl, and, and got all dressed up and everything good, put the cologne on. 30 minutes before the the, the that he's supposed to go pick her up, he gets a phone call, and the girl says, I'm sorry, I can't go. You think that's trauma? You know what he did? And he says, I remember the day, he looked in the mirror, and you know what he said? The effect of the trauma grabbed him. He said, look, oh, we'll call him Sam. Sam, he looks in the mirror, you will never ever trust anyone. You're the only one that you can trust. Don't ever, Believe anything anyone says. That was a response to the trigger of him being disappointed. Same thing with St. Mary. She was probably hurt for so many years. And then, and then, check this out, and then she was going on a pilgrimage with these people going to venerate the Holy Cross, and she got in a boat with these men and it, it, the story goes, she offered her body as a payment to go on the boat with them. Can you imagine these people going on a pilgrimage? I'm not interested in judging, but I know what happens when we, when we sin, when we're disconnected. They're going on a pilgrimage uh, to, 
in Jerusalem to, to, to venerate the Holy Cross. And as she goes, to it, all the pilgrims go into the, the church, and she went in, and she could, you ever had that experience where something happens, it stops you from going in? She couldn't go into the church. To make a long story short, she, she stopped, and she came to her senses. And at that point, I believe, the trauma of her life, whatever it was, the Lord said, come with me, be with me, I'll take care of you, because we need to scrape off all the things of how you were defined so we can find your true beauty and your true nature. It says in one of the hymns today, check this out, so beautiful in Orthos. It says, your prolonged polluted state, Mary, with all your prior defilements, like a wall prevented you from beholding the holy sights of Christ. Then your mind went to God when a prick of consciousness and awareness of what you had done had their effect on you and allowed you to have a higher lifestyle converting you. For gazing at the icon of the ever virgin Mary, you condemned your every transgression in the past and you redirected your life. The other hymn here I wanted to share, Dwelling in the wilderness, Mary, you blotted out every image of the passions from your soul, having in their place instead printed on your soul the sublime godlike form of the holy virtues. And you shone forth to such an extent that you were able to fly across the waters, O blessed one, and levitate above the ground when you raise your, your hands up to God in prayer. The deal is we all have been hurt. And watch how you all get triggered. When we get triggered, the trigger will never have an impact on you if you don't have explosives that go with the trigger. You will not rage on the road if you don't let the trigger, whatever happened, you have to be in control if somebody cuts you off, that you're gonna get them, like somehow somebody got you, so you gotta get them. So the Lord's asking us today, truly, he's asking us today, who do you wanna be connected to? The old story that's filled with triggers and trauma that leads you down a path as St. Mary of Egypt went for such a long time? And what pain she probably experienced? And what suffering she probably experienced? Because the, the mind plays a trip because we all need to be connected. We all want to feel authentic. So her connection was discombobulated because her connection with, was with men. So in, in her mind, she probably thought, oh, people like me. I'm connected. She probably thought she was authentic because look, who comes after me? That's where the, fa the falsity of our minds can take us if we're not pure, if we're not grounded in Christ. So today the church is saying, listen, we need to make a U-turn back to our true authentic self, which is found in Christ. She spent her life repenting and repentance can be looked at as a forward movement into life. I want you to all think, Repentance being a forward movement into life. It's not an invitation of hopeless guilt, but to freedom and responsibility. The purpose is not that we be ashamed or demoralized, but it's to point us towards God and to real, authentic life, characterized in honesty, integrity, personal accountability to God, to all others and to oneself. To repent, listen, to repent is to wake up. To wake up from your sleep of ignorance and to discover your soul to gain the meaning and purpose of our lives by responding to the incomparable love of God the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ. Socrates says, an unexamined life is not one worth living. And so many of, of us, we have a roof over our head, we have food to eat, we have bank accounts, and we think we're all cool and sweet. But the Lord says, I want you to, to pause, and I want you to wonder what you're prostituting yourself for that keeps you from me. Could be your ego, it could be, could be fear, it could be anxiety, it could be depression, so many things. So today the Lord says, I want all of you. I want you, I love you. May we continue this journey as we step into uh, soon Holy Week as we remember Lazarus next week and Palm Sunday, that we truly walk the walk with Christ, that we ask him to bless us and to change every bit of us that keeps us from being authentic and beautiful and real. And the only real, authentic, beautiful place is to know that we're God's beloved son or daughter. Amen. <laughs>
And grant that always, guarded by your power, we give glory to you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and in the ages of ages. Christ your God, God, you offer you. You want to receive you. So we can pray together, Father. We all hope that my good spirit now and every day.
Let us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house, for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. God deliver in small affliction, wrath, danger, distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Remember, for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For all that has been beneficial to our souls and peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For a Christian end to our lives, peace without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Remembering our most holy, pure, most blessed, holy glorious Lady of the Alphabos and Ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. The mercy of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together, with your all holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. One mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Trinity, one in essence and inseparable. The doors, the doors, and wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and he suffered and was buried. On the third day he rose according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I am in the Holy Spirit, and the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge my baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in all, let us be attentive, present this holy offering in peace. Mercy and peace. Jesus Christ and love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is from 
you, Lord God, worshipful Father Almighty. It is truly just and right to, ma <coughs> to the majesty of your holiness to praise you, to him you, bless and worship you, to give thanks to you, to glorify you, the only true God, and to offer you to you this spiritual worship with a contrite heart and a humble spirit. For you have given us to know the truth. Who is worthy to praise your mighty acts or make known all your praises or tell all your wonderful deeds at all times? Master of all things, Lord of heaven and earth, and of every creature, visible and invisible, you are seated upon the throne of glory. Behold the depths. You are without beginning, invisible, incomprehensible, beyond words, unchangeable. You are the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the great God and Savior of hope, the image of your goodness, the true seal of your likeness, revealing in himself you, the Father. He is the living word, the true God, eternal wisdom, life, sanctification, power, and true light. There, through him, the Holy Spirit was manifested, the spirit of truth, the gift of sonship, the pledge of our future inheritance, the first fruit of eternal blessings, the life-giving power, the source of sanctification through whom every rational spiritual creature is made capable of worshiping you and giving you eternal glorification, for all things are subject to you. For you are praised by the archangels, angels, thrones, dominions, principalities, authorities, powers, and many eyed cherubim. <coughs> Round about you they stand, seraphim, one with six wings, the other with six wings, and two they cover their faces. With two they cover their feet. With two they fly, crying out to one another with unceasing voices and ever resounding praises. Singing the victory and proclaiming, crying out aloud and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord of Solomon, heaven, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. time had come, you spoke to us through your Son himself, through whom you created the ages. He being the splendor of your glory and image of your, of your being, upholding all things by the word of his power, thought it not robbery to be equal with you, God and Father, but being God before all ages, he appeared on earth and lived with humankind. Becoming incarnate from the Holy Virgin, he emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, conforming to the body of a lowliness, that he might liken us to the image of his glory. For since through man sin came into the world, and through sin death it pleased your only begotten Son, who is in your bosom, God and Father, born of a woman, the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, born under the law to condemn sin in his flesh so that those who died in Adam might be brought to life in him, your Christ. He lived in this world and gave us precepts of salvation, releasing us the delusions of idolatry. He guided us to the sure knowledge of you, of you, the true God and Father. He acquired us from self as a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. Having cleansed us by water and sanctified us with the Holy Spirit, he gave himself up as ransom to death in which we are held captive, sold under sin. Descending to Hades through the cross, that he might fill all things with himself, he lose the bonds of death. He rose on the third day, having opened the path for all flesh to resurrection from the dead, since it was not possible that the author of life could be dominated by corruption. So he became the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep, the firstborn of the dead, that he might be himself the first in all things ascending to heaven. He sat at the right hand of your majesty on high, and he will come to render to each according to his works. As memorials of his saving passions, he has left his gifts that we have set forth before you according to his command. For when he was about to go forth with his voluntary, ever memorable life giving death, on the night in which we delivered up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy pure hands, and presented it to you, God and Father, offering thanks, blessing, sanctifying, and breaking it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of the vine, having mingled it, offering thanks, blessing, sanctifying it. He gave it to the disciples and apostles, saying, Drink it all, you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for many for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. You do this in remembrance of me, for as often you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim my death and you confess my resurrection. Therefore, Master, we also remember his saving passion, life-giving cross, his three-day burial, 
and resurrection from the dead, his ascension into heaven, enthronement at your right hand, and his second glorious awesome coming. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Therefore, most master, holy master, we also offer this unworthy servants you made worthy to serve at your holy altar, not because of our own righteousness, but because of your mercy and compassion which you have so richly poured upon us. We dare approach your holy altar and bring forth the antitype of the holy body and blood of our Christ. We pray to you and call upon your holy of holies that by the favor of your goodness, your Holy Spirit may come upon us and upon these gifts you presented to bless the saints by me. This bread to be the precious body of our Lord and God, Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. And that this cup to be the precious blood of our Lord and God, Savior Jesus Christ, Amen. shed for the salvation and life of the world. Amen. And unite all of us to one another. Take as the whole bread and cup to the communion of the Spirit. Grant that none of us will partake of the holy body and blood of your Christ for judgment or condemnation For most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious lady, the felt all cause, and ever virgin Mary. <laughs> Churches and peace keep and safe, honorable, <coughs> healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind. And all your people. with one heart may glorify and praise your most honor majestic name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
now and ever and in the ages of ages. Amen. May the mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with your spirit. Having remembered all the saints, let us again in peace pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. And loving God, who has received them at his holy heavenly spiritual altar, as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send upon us divine grace. And the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for the unity of faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. And make us worthy mass with confidence and without fear of condemnation. To dare call you, the Heavenly God Father, and to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, O Lord. We give thanks to you, invisible King, by your infinite power. You created all things, and by your great mercy, you bring everything from nothing into being. Master, look down from heaven upon those who bow their heads before you. For they have not bowed before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, and heal the sick, physician of our souls and bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us, of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together, with your all holy, good, and life giving spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive to the holy gifts for the holy people of God. One is holy, one is Lord, Jesus Christ, to the
me, nor they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they that hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Makers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for this is the kingdom of the heavens. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward. to 
those who are broken hearted and will say the humble in spirit. Take in the divine holy prayer model of heavenly life and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Lord have mercy. Have you prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day? Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Occasion to we give glory to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who pray to you, sanctify those who trust in you, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. Do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your church, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all people. For every good and perfect gift is from above. And protect us, O Lord, from the evils of injustice, prejudice, exploitation, conflict, and war. Lord, help us to put away mistrust, bitterness, and hatred. Teach us to cease the storing and using remnants of war. And lead us to find respect, peace, and freedom. Unite us in the making and sharing of tools of peace against ignorance, poverty, and disease, and oppression and grant that we may grow in harmony and friendship as brothers and sisters created in your image to honor and praise you. For you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the name of the Lord, both now and to the ages. that have passed, our beloved Demetrius, Themilis, loving father of Gus, Tom, Nick, Themilis, Christina Gerasades, 25 years since his passing, and Christina Themilis, loving uh, grandmother of Gus, Tom, Nick, Themilis, Christina Gerasades, Sammy, Derezis, Gus, 
Francis Mosgrid and Christine Karsmer, and uh, 35 years since her passing, and also Panayota, their aunt, 35 years since her passing. Panayotitsa. <coughs> Join us on page 357E. Among the spirits of the righteous brought to perfection, here rest, O Savior, to the souls of your servants. Keep them in blessed life with you, O lover of mankind. Within your peace, O Lord, where all your saints repose, Give rest also to the souls of your servants, for you alone are immortal. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You who are our God, who descended into Hades and shattered the bonds of his captives, progress also, O Savior, to the souls of your servants, now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. O Virgin, the only pure and spotless, who innocently gave birth to God, intercede with him for the salvation of the souls of your servants. Have mercy upon us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray to you here, and have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Again, we pray for the repose and for the servants of God, Demetrios, Christina, Panayotitsa, and for the forgiveness of all our sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord. Grant their souls where the righteous repose that is asked for the mercies of God, the kingdom of heaven, the forgiveness of all their sins from Christ our mortal King and God. Grant his soul, Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God of spirits and all flesh, who trample down death and abolish the power of the devil, giving life to your world. Lord, give rest to the souls of your departed servants, Demetrius, Christina, and Panayotitsa, in a place of light a place of repose, a place of refreshment where there's no pain, sorrow, or suffering. As a good, loving God, forgive every sin they've committed both in word, deed, or thought. For there's no one who lives and does not sin. You alone are without sin, Lord. Your righteousness is our everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. But you are the resurrection, the life, the repose, and the part, service of God, Demetrius, Christina, Panayotitsa, Christ our God. And to you we give glory to the eternal Father, and your holy, good life, giving spirit now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Christ, a true God, rose from the dead as a good and loving, merciful God, have mercy on us and save us. 
through the intercession of the most holy, pure mother, the power of the precious life of the cross, the honorable bodies and powers of heaven, the prophet for and John the Baptist, glorious praise for the apostles, the glorious triumph and martyrs, the holy righteous hands of God, Joachim and Anna, the Saint Mary of Egypt, Titus the Wonder Worker, the Lord of the Virgin Martyr of Palestine, Ampianos, Adesinos, the Martyrs of Lucia and Polycarp, and of all the saints. The prayers of holy fathers and mothers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Yeah, that was a little dissonance. <laughs> Even I, who have a bad ear, heard that. Let's do it together, right? Amen. God bless you. Amen. The prayers really kept those. God bless you. There's a few uh, yeah. announcements. Let's thank God for your generosity on page 362. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, accept our offerings you accept the gifts of throughout the ages. We offer you the gifts of your glory and the support of ministry of your holy church. For the age of suffering and hunger, for proclamation of the gospel to the whole world, grant us your blessing, Lord our God, and we all faithful stewards. Continue to share the gifts of goodness, that power, mercy, and love. May your name be glorified forever. Amen. Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we pray and ask you, bless, Lord, the food and drink of your servants, for you are holy now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Have a seat. Just a couple of announcements. Again, thank you for your uh, prayers today. It's always beautiful to worship with you today. We will have Kids Oasis today. Pan Orthodox Vespers, for those that can make it, our last one is that. St. Joe Kimanana, the Romanian church in, uh, I think that's in uh, West Sea, that's in um, Queen Anne, I think, Magnolia. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Bible study, somehow we had a glitch last week, so we'll have chapter 11, we'll go through chapter 11 this week. Pre-sanctified liturgy, the last one is this Wednesday. If you haven't been to one, please try to make one and make the last one. Saturday, Lazarus, we're coming up to Holy Week. Uh, Saturday, Lazarus is coming Saturday. Palm Sunday is on Sunday. Uh, and we'd love for you, those who have uh, generously given uh, your gift for the salmon this, uh, for this next coming uh, luncheon, love for you to donate $25 to defray the cost of the salmon. And uh, Metropolitan Yerasmus is going to be here on Holy Thursday morning. Love for all of you to be here to honor him as our beloved shepherd. And we need uh, you to contribute also. Those who are going to be here, I hope you, hopefully you can, on uh, Pascha afternoon. Uh, for our agape service meal. Uh, it's always a beautiful time, it's a beautiful event, and love for all of you to see how you contribute. Uh, if you go online and you click on Pascha, however you can help out, that would be the, the great uh, blessing for us. Um, I think I, I offered a sermon like six weeks ago about going on a trip, and hopefully you've been Walk in the walk towards Golgotha as you uh, intensify your prayer, as you realize God is in our midst, as you do your best to fast, as you watch what you look at and what you listen to and how you speak. That's, for me, the greatest fasting you can offer, that you fast to become like Theotokos and you become like St. Mary of Egypt who turned their life around uh, to serve Christ and to love Christ and to know Christ. May God bless you and inspire you. It's always a good... Good thing to be with y'all. Have a blessed day. Let's we'll start from the back and we'll go. Mark, come on. Come on up. Thank you. 